In Prescott Valley, Arizona today, they said goodbye to 19 heroes, firefighters who put their lives on the line to protect their neighbors. Ben Tracy was there. Firefighters from just down the road and as far away as Canada came to honor the 19 Granite Mountain hotshots. Their empty fire gear, a reminder of their full sacrifice. Prescott Fire Chief Dan Fryho. But if I could fulfill my fondest wish, it could be that my tears would wash away the pain and loss that we all feel. Rest in peace, my fellow professionals. You will be, you will be missed, but you will never, ever be forgotten. 6,000 people packed the arena, but there were hundreds more outside in the 90 degree heat. Jackie Brown drove two hours from Phoenix. Why is this important to you to be here to see this? It's very important to me personally. I just felt the need, I felt pulled to be here to show my respect. Brendan McDonough, the only survivor of the 20 man crew, read the Hot Shots prayer. For if this day on the line, I should answer death's call. Lord bless my hotshot crew, my family, one and all. Thank you, and uh, I miss my brothers. McDonough was the lookout on June 30th as the hotshots tried to build a fire break between the flames and the town of Yarnell. They became trapped when the wind suddenly changed direction and pushed the fire over them. Their bodies were draped with American flags by those who stood by their remains until it was safe enough to move them from the ridge. On Sunday, 19 white hearses brought the crew home to Prescott. The 125-mile route was lined by those offering their respects and thanks. The people of Yarnell also came home this week to a town that was left unrecognizable. While they are not yet sure of all they have lost, Scott Daniel Norris. The toll here is already 19 times more than Justin anyone can bear. DeFord. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Prescott Valley, Arizona.